Here are our five favorite workshop items for week 66 in no particular order. First we have the Pumpkin Courier created by Kraken. This would have to get in the game pretty damn fast to make the Halloween deadline, but regardless it's a great courier that I think looks terrific no matter what season it is. As per norm, check out the video in the workshop to see the full list of animations. Next is the Fallen Scout Ward created by Turtle Sheep, DK Fire, and Onion Knight. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be based off of Skeleton King, but after reading the description it just makes me feel so sad for this cuddly character that still scouts out for you even after death. Be sure to watch the video in the workshop if you want to be even more sad as the music and animations are a dream. Third is the Plant and Hanada Wearables Chest created by Pot Plant and Hanada. It comes with 12 items including a back piece for Alchemist, a new mount for CK, a weapon for Quap, a weapon for Abaddon, a ward for Enchantress, a weapon for Tusk, an offhand for Tusk, a really awesome lantern weapon for our Space Cow friend, a helmet for Skeleton King, new staff for Rubik, a gargoyle type ward for Visage, and a headpiece for Batrider. It's not often we see full chests in the workshop, and having one of this quality is even rarer. Although it's odd to have two items for Tusk, I think the amount of variety overall more than makes up for that. Fourth is surprisingly the only set of the week. It's called the Alchemic Alloys of the Alliance set for Alki, created by Mr. President, Mr. Scrake, and Kappa. It comes with seven items including armor, bracers, flasks, goblin suit, goggles, swords, and a teddy bear. If you didn't know this was an alliance set by the name, you should know based on the fact that their lucky teddy bear has been remastered digitally. I think overall this alchemist set looks very intimidating, especially in his ulti form. Last but not least is the familiar woods HUD created by Cyborg Matt and Morb, who seems to have quite a few HUDs in the game already. This HUD is based off of Cyborg Matt's Shagbark Courier, and although everything in the workshop is subject to different taste, it is our humble opinion that this is as high quality of a HUD that you will ever find.